The first half has just begun. Come on, you Blues. Let's get the job done against the Reds. Come on, Chelsea. Mason Mount heads the ball over from inside the box, following a peach of a cross from Reese James on our right-hand side. Just over eight minutes have been played, and I do think that Chelsea have started well. Although Liverpool have um, have have passed the ball about really well as well, so in my opinion it has been fairly even. Although the chance in which Mason Mount had, he should have scored from. Um, it's still nil nil, but we're we're doing well so far. Just over 16 minutes have been played. Liverpool have created a few openings in the last five minutes or so, and Rhys James did have a chance to open the scoring from outside the box, but his shot went just past the post. It was a very good strike, but very unlucky in my very unlucky in my opinion. But um, I still think that we're doing really well in this match so far. It's Liverpool 1, it's Chelsea 0. Naby Keita smashes the ball into the top right corner on his side giving Kepa absolutely no chance. I'm not going to blame him for, for letting this one go in because the defence should have done a lot better in terms of retaining the ball. The players have gone on the first drinks break the players have gone on their first drink break of the match, but this was an absolute cracker from Navigator and can you say it's a sucker punch? Maybe, but you can't take anything away from Navigator. That was a world class strike. But yes, Liverpool lead by one goal to nil. Not long left of the first half, and since the goal, we have been pegged in our own in our own half, and we haven't done too much attacking because of that. Um, Mason Mount, however, did put the ball into the back of the net, but it was ruled out for offside, and it was the correct decision for them to do so. Um, but yes, we haven't done too much attacking since um, Naby Keita put the ball into the back of the net from outside the box for the Reds. Um, still 1-0 to Liverpool. It's Liverpool 2, it's Chelsea 0, Trent Alexander-Arnold scores his second Premier League goal against us this season and again it's from a free kick. I'm not entirely sure if it was a free kick in the first place but I'm not going to take anything away from the strike from Trent Alexander-Arnold. However, I am going to question Kepa's positioning because he was... Um, he was um, on his... he was on the right hand side of the goal, on his side of course, and it, he, he barely even moved. Um, I think I think he 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 was wrong footed. I don't know, but it went into the ball went into the top right corner and it's, it's two 0 to Liverpool. Uh, I, I, I can't I can't even find the words right now. But yes, Liverpool lead by two goals to nil. Less than nine minutes plus additional time left at the end of the first half. It's Liverpool three. It's Chelsea nil. Wijnaldum slams the ball into the top left corner on his side following a corner from their left hand side and it's poor defending, I hate to say it but it's poor defending and another goal we, it, and another goal in which we've conceded from a set piece. <sighs> Can't say Liverpool haven't deserved it though because they've taken the chances in which they've created and we've pretty much allowed them to do so because of our poor defending. But yes, Liverpool are 3-0 up with not long left of the first half. We are into three minutes of additional time at the end of the first half. It's Liverpool three, it's Chelsea one, Olivier Giroud pulls one back for the Blues and it was a well worked goal as well. He did, he did put the ball into the back of the net from close range but he did what he had to do and he has pulled one back for the Blues in what was a, a, an average first half in my opinion overall. But yes, um, it's Liverpool three, it's Chelsea one. It's half time, it's Liverpool 3, it's Chelsea 1. All I'm going to say is that we have to do a lot better than we did in the first half in the second half. And I will see you all very soon for the second half. The second half has just begun. Come on, you Blues. Score some more goals, get yourselves back into the game, and hopefully get those three points. Come on, Chelsea. Five minutes of the second half have been played and I have to admit that Chelsea are still having to do a lot of defending. Five minutes of the second half have been played and I have to admit that Chelsea are still having to do a lot of defending. <sighs> it's 
It's Liverpool 4, it's Chelsea 1, Roberto Firmino scores again against us this season and it's poor defending again. We allowed a cross to come in from the right hand side from Trent Alexander-Arnold. It was a brilliant cross, I'm not going to take anything away from him for that cross but we could have done a lot better in terms of um, our defending. We allowed Roberto Firmino to get in between two of our centre-backs and he just had a free header. Can you blame Kepa? Possibly. I'll need to look at it again. But yes, Liverpool have a 4-1 lead and for me that's game over. If it wasn't game over already. Olivier Giroud, Willian and Mason Mount have all gone off for Christian Pulisic, Tammy Abraham and Callum Hudson-Odoi. It's Liverpool 4, it's Chelsea 2, Tammy Abraham puts the ball into the back of the net after Christian Pulisic set him up, it is a brilliant pass from Christian Pulisic and amazing run from him down on the left hand side as well and Tammy Abraham finished it off and carries the ball back to the centre circle, come on, come on, let's do this. Just over 71 minutes have been played, the players have gone on their second drinks break of the match and I have to say that since Frank Lampard made those substitutions we have looked a, we have looked a lot better in the attacking third and I do think we can get another goal, it's just up to us to do so. But yes, I, I, I do have to say that we have looked good since Frank Lampard made those three changes. It's Liverpool 4, it's Chelsea 3, Christian Pulisic gets himself on the score sheet after receiving the ball from Callum Hudson-Odoi down our right hand side. He, he controlled the ball really well, turned on it and smashed it into the top right corner on his side, giving Alisson absolutely no chance of saving it. But yes, it's game on. It's Liverpool 4, it's Chelsea 3. There are less than 9 minutes plus additional time left at the end of the match. It's Liverpool 5, it's Chelsea 3. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain puts the ball into the top corner from inside the box following a swift counter attack from Liverpool. Um, it did come from a set piece in which Christian Pulisic won in the left wing position. Um, Rhys James tried to put the ball in, but um, Liverpool defended it really well and they broke on us. We didn't have too many of our, of our players in a defensive. I mean, we didn't have too many of our players in our defensive half and Liverpool took advantage of that and they, they scored. Kepa, for me, should have done a lot better, but you can't take anything away from Liverpool tonight. They, they have been the better team in terms of taking their chances. I do think we have um, put up a fight, you can't deny that, but I think that's the game done now. And yes, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain has scored a fifth goal for the Reds, or hit, or has scored the fifth goal for the Reds, shall I say, to correct myself, but yes, it's Liverpool 5, it's Chelsea 3. Emerson Palmieri has come on for Marcos Alonso for Chelsea. We are into five minutes of additional time at the end of the match. It's full time, the final score is Liverpool 5, Chelsea 3. Wow, what a game that was. Um, Do you know what the funny thing is? I actually thought that we played a decent game. Just some poor defensive mistakes from us yet again. And I think if we didn't make those um, defensive mistakes, then we could have seen a different game. But credit to Liverpool, they are going to lift the trophy in the cop end now. And congratulations to them. They thoroughly deserve it. They've been by far the best team in the league this season. I'll say it again. And that's their home campaign over. They've, they, they've not lost a single Premier League game at home. And... That's, that's a massive achievement for them. Their, their, uh, their unbeaten run at home goes on. And yeah, they're, they're going to lift the Premier League trophy, like I've said. As for us, um, we're going to have to get this one out of our system as quickly as possible and go again against Wolverhampton Wanderers. But I'll see you all very soon for my review.